As we get ready to set our clocks forward this weekend, Florida lawmakers are hoping this will be the last time in the Sunshine State. News 5's Cody Long explains how a new daylight saving time bill in Florida could also have a big impact on people across the state line in Alabama. Wade Hall was raised and lives here near the state border in Escambia County, Alabama. They'll have to get up earlier and get their kids prepared and everything else for school. He has a lot of questions about the bill that just passed the Florida House and Senate. It would keep the Sunshine State on daylight saving time year round. So for about seven months of the year, time would be different for his neighbors. And see, I, I grew up about four miles that way down Highway 4. And when I was growing up, you either knew somebody that lived across the line, or if you live on either side of the line, you got families that live in Atmore and you got other families that live in Florida of the same family. If this change goes into effect, it could be 2 p.m., for example, here in Alabama, and then you walk just a few feet down the road, and it would be 3 p.m. here in Florida, just a few feet away, and a one hour time difference. But another thing is, too, is um, like y'all, um, Channel 5, everybody watches y'all and everything else. People might get upset that they might have to miss y'all, you know, earlier in that day or whatever, or their, their favorite TV show. This road splits the two states. Those on the south end are Florida residents, north are Alabama residents. There are people who work and kids who go to schools across the border. They would be affected most by this change. Governor Rick Scott still has to sign the bill, then Congress would have to amend federal law to allow the change to happen. In Atmore, Cody Long, News 5.